Hey, 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 are you lost? Well, I'm here to help with that. I'm Snoopy, and I'm your guide. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel if you're new. Welcome to the channel. So the Crown Tundra DLC has been out for a couple days now, and a lot of people have been asking me about it, and how to do stuff in it. So I made a guide to show you guys how to do stuff. When you first load into the game, you'll be given this screen to show you have the Crown Tundra Pass. The first thing you want to do is fly to Wedgehurst to go to the train station where you'll talk to this guy where you will now be able to travel to Crown Tundra. The first two characters you meet will be having some daddy-daughter issues, and when you try to help them, the dad wants to fight you and test your skills. After defeating him, the daughter ends up running away where you'll chase them to the Max Lair. Inside the Max Lair, you will learn that she has decided to do a legendary raid all by herself, so you and the dad decide to follow her in. But you don't really help and you just end up catching a legendary and the dad bumps his head. And yes, I'm going to call him dad because I don't feel like saying his name. Now let's get into the max raid. You'll be given three Pokemon to choose from, so choose wisely. It'll show you one of the types of the legendary, so try to build your team around that. There'll be different paths you can choose from, and if you defeat the Pokemon, you can catch them and switch it in with the Pokemon that you were using now. If you want, it's totally up to you. The best thing to do is to not just build your Pokemon to be strong for the Legendary, but choose paths to help your team be strong, because these Legendaries are no joke. But when you defeat them, you will have a chance to catch the Legendary. After the raid, you will want to go down to this village, where you'll go to Dad's house. He will talk to you, and let me tell you, he has way too much energy. But he gives you this uniform that I look good in. He also gives you clues for catching all the Legendaries, and gives weird titles for everything. Now what you want to do is go to the table and grab this big thing, and try to convince him for you to take it. Then put it on this statue. When you put it on you will see the real legendary, where you will talk to him and then fight him, but you cannot catch him so just destroy him. After that dad will come by and the legendary will take over his body and talk to you where he wants you to talk to the villagers to see if they still believe in him. Then, just talk to him again. Now on to the Reggies. If you see on the map, these indents are where the Reggies are. This is Reggie Steel. Up here is Reggie Ice. Down here is Reggie Rock. And over here is the new Reggies. This is what Reggie Steel's door says, which took me a while to figure out, And but all you have to do is whistle by pressing the left stick down. When you get into the room, all you have to do is step on the circles till they light up, then press A on the statue, and now you're fighting Reggie Steel. This is what it says for Regirock, and what you need is an Everstone, and just put it on a Pokemon and press A on the door. And once you're in, you do the same thing you did for Reggie Steel, and now you're fighting Regirock. This is what it says for Reggie Ice's door. And what you need to do is catch this guy and make him your first in the party. Then do the same thing you did for the other Reggies and there's Reggie Ice. Now for the last Reggies you have to have all the Reggies in your party to open the door. Once inside you can only choose one of the Reggies so choose wisely. If you want Reggie Drago this is the pattern for him. And if you want Reggie Eliki like I got the pattern is like this. And let me tell you, I struggled so much trying to catch him, it was crazy. Just look at all these Pokeballs. And I'll just listen to my reaction when I call him. LET'S GO! <laughs> Next is the Legendary Birds. To find the Legendary Birds, you want to go to this big tree where you'll get this cutscene and they'll all run off. Now to find Articuno, he is in the Crown Tundra, all you have to do is fly to the town and go to the wild area and he will be ready. And to fight him, you just have to follow him and he will eventually do this hat trick and you have to choose the right one. If you choose wrong, he will fly away, but if you choose right, he will fight you. To catch Moltres, you have to go to the Isle of Armor, where again he will be right there and you just have to chase him down. For Moltres, you have to try to get in front of him which is pretty hard, but if you do manage to do it, it will scare him and then he'll fight you. 
For Zapdos, you will have to go to the first original wild area where Zapdos will be waiting for you. When you approach him, he will start running and he is fast. You just have to keep chasing him till he gets tired and slows down, then you'll be able to fight him. Now back to the main part. You will have to go down to this area where you will find the mayor of the village and talk to him. Then fly back to the village where you will talk to him again. Then you go inside his house where he wants you to read his books so you can learn more about the legendaries there are. After reading the books, you go outside where you talk to the legendary again. He will ask you if you figured out anything about his horse and you'll say yes. Then he will ask what the horse likes and you say carrots. Then you must go to this guy and buy some carrot seeds from him. Now if you don't have enough ore, you can do more legendary raids and get some. Then talk to the legendary dude again and you will tell him you got the seeds. After talking to him, you are going to go right here and plant the carrots. He will then use his magic powers to make the carrots grow faster. After you get the carrots, the horse will then ride by. And now you have to go back to the village where the horse is scaring all the people and you now end up fighting him. And again, you cannot catch this Pokemon, so just beat him. When you beat him, he ends up running away where he almost runs over an old lady till the legendary calls for him and he ends up running somewhere else. Then you will pick up this item he drops, which is his hair. After that, you go talk to the legendary where he gives you a flower petal. You then take these two items to the mayor where he tries to weave them together, but he cannot do it right. Then dad comes in and does it perfectly. You then go outside where you get a cutscene of you talking to the legendary again. After talking to him, you have to fly to the castle where you talk to him for a little while and then you put the carrot in the basket. Then you guys wait for the horse to come. When he comes, the legendary tames it. He then tames the horse and becomes a lot stronger. And now you can fight him, but watch out, he knows this really strong ice move that was one hitting my guys at level 80. You then go to the village and talk to dad where he gives you a check marks for catching all the legendaries, a master ball, his league card, ew, and this sick gold outfit. He then leaves the lair but he drops something and you pick it up and bring it to him which then unlocks endless raids where it's the same as the legendary raids but it's endless. The thing he drops is key to the next DLC. If you look here there is a portal that isn't in the game so I'm thinking this will be the third DLC. I also figured out some other cool things like if you go to this big tree and shake it a Pokemon will come out and he ended up killing four of my Pokemon that were all in the 80s so he's strong. Another thing is if you go to the house right here, you will be able to walk up to Cosmog and press A and you'll be able to keep him. The last thing I figured out, and I just figured this out while I'm editing, is that if you go down by the tree in this area, there is a tombstone. If you walk up to the tombstone, it will say spread my voice. Now, what you are supposed to do is if you have Nintendo Online, you have to talk to 32 random people that are playing. Just walk up to them and press A. And when you're done, go back to the tombstone, and if Spiritum doesn't show up, fly to the village and fly back to the tree and go to that area, and he should be there. I hope this helped you guys out a lot. I really enjoyed making this video, and this is my first time making one of these videos, so if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below, and I will answer them all. I hope you guys enjoyed playing Crown Tundra just as much as I did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.